Ibu, 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 The Sulawesi disaster of 2011 is certainly remembered by many of our viewers. The disaster claimed nearly 15,000 dead and missing and caused huge material damage. Interesting about this event is that the disaster was caused by a not so strong 7.5 magnitude earthquake. The main reason of the destructiveness of the disaster was the so-called liquefaction of water-saturated soil, which is possible under certain circumstances. It takes strong water saturation of the soil, longer shaking duration and a shallowness of the earthquake. All this met in Sulawesi and this liquefaction led to deadly movements and landslides. But for a long time, scientists couldn't figure out how it was possible that Palu was hit by a 6 to 8 meters tsunami wave, as the earthquake was of the strike-slip type, which usually doesn't have enough vertical motion to create large tsunamis. Eventually, scientists were able to find the source that led to the amplification of the tsunami's effect, and, as a result, the scientific community studying the origin and effects of tsunamis is again a little more informed. Find out more in today's video. Friends, welcome to the new video on the Top Topics channel. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get on to the new video now. The source of the powerful tsunami that struck the city of Palu was the massive landslides on the hillsides that wind around the deep bay, at the end of which the city lies. These landslides and the subsequent tsunami were filmed by sailors on a cargo ship that was passing through at the time. This is truly unique footage, capturing the very moment of the uprise of the tsunami. The sailor first captured the distant tsunami, which was generated by a rock slide approximately 5 kilometers from their ship. The footage shows that the wave is really massive. When the camera turns towards the opposite shore, more waves can be seen coming from that direction as well. Suddenly, however, a massive crashing sound is heard. At this point, there's a landslide of liquefied soil right next to the boat. This landslide instantly generates a massive tsunami wave, which sets in motion and passes very quickly under the ship towards the town of Palu. So now it's very clear what caused the massive waves that hit the city of Palu. The main source was the massive landslides on the shores of this funnel-shaped bay. This mass of displaced water was combined into one large wave and its effect was further amplified by the narrow profile of the bay since the water couldn't spill over. The impact of the wave on the city of Palu then is widely known. The city was hit by a wave up to 8 meters high and the entire coastal areas were devastated. The power of the tsunami is evident in this iconic shot of the devastated Kuning Ponulele Bridge, a massive arc bridge that was swept away by the wave as if it was made of paper. The Sulawesi tsunami was a typical example of how dangerous local tsunamis caused by landslides can be. A video where we break down this disaster in detail can be found in the caption of this video, so be sure to take a look at it. In the next video, you can look forward to the follow-up of our series on the Japanese tsunami, specifically the impact on the town of Ishinomaki. Thanks for watching, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe and a bell. Have a great time and see you at the next video.